to pull the Marvin machine along with them in three. Burnt to the outside along with Burnt Marvin, and it's Wayne Wright and Hardy to the inside. They're side by side for two rows on back. Jerry Marquis becomes a factor as well in car number 57. Willie Hardy started 18th on the grid. He has found a home among the top five. Not the house that he wants. He wants position number one. Down underneath Marvin, here comes Hardy. The tail that wags the dog becomes Marquis. He's moved into the top six. Trouble now. Willie Hardy up and on top of the Burt Marvin race car as they scramble off the turn. Amazingly enough, Willie Hardy will pull away under his own power. Brad Hytella involved in the altercation. So is it Lloyd Agar and Doug Colby. Among the cars stranded is it appears that the Larry Ross machine was also involved in the altercation as well. So the second caution of the event comes out in this SK Modified feature. Leader number two has become Ted Christopher. Passes him in turn three. Right now the field uh, doubles up into the rows of two. Don't count Jerry Marquis in the 57 car to the outside of the second row. He now becomes a factor here in the final couple laps of this event. He was 10th on the final restart. Now up into the top five. Well, the professor, Ted Christopher, is going to teach one of his favorite students a thing or two in this restart. Back to green. Christopher moves the inside lane. Looks racy. Following him through is Wayne Wright. Bird goes up the hill. Malave back to life. Here comes Sylvester down in turn three. Top two single out at the front of the field. Then it's a side-by-side -side battle for this third position. Malave to the inside. Bird to the outside. Remaining side-by-side -side off the corner. Back to the stride. Teddy Christopher still shows the way with car number 13. Frank Wainwright runs second. Battle now for third. Jeff Malave with car number three. Battle and Eric Burn off two. No side-by-side -side for the second time by as Teddy Christopher continues to pull away in the number 13 machine. Wainwright now being pressured for the second spot. Malave is there. Marquis gets a little out of shape off of turn four. They are almost three wide when they come back to the line. Malave uses up a lot of track but holds on. Here comes Sylvester. He'll make a move off turn two. Sylvester comes out of nowhere down the back straight away. He's up to third here in turn number three. Malave had to back out of it and really stack everybody up including the number 96 of Kurt Brainerd in the mix of the green and black machine. Well, Sylvester creating a lot of magic tonight with car number 15 and now he looks for racing room down low to the inside of Wainwright trying to create some magic there. Can he do it? They're in three. Right now with his Wayne right to the outside with the advantage, but Sylvester has a shorter way around to the inside. Off of turn number four, gives the spot to Sylvester. Now one car out of shape. It's Wayne Wright. Well, Malave moved up the hill and took Wayne right up into the loose stop. Meanwhile, Ted Christopher's going, going, gone. Sylvester moves into second. Malave in third. Eric Byrd is fourth. And car 44 on lap number 44 sets in position number five. Back to the line they come. Christopher in command. I'll tell you, one car, Jerry Marquis, seems to be struggling with car number 57. He is backslid. So uh, maybe we can get a report on that Gateway Limousine Chevrolet. But in the meanwhile, Teddy Christopher with car number 13 all by himself in the number one spot. Zach Sylvester, certainly a strong run tonight. He's in the number two spot. Jeff Malave is third. Eric Burr is in the fourth spot. And Frank Wainwright rounds out your top five. 46 laps show on the board. Time is starting to run out. Ted Christopher is your leader. Here comes Eric Burr. Bottom shot. Move down in three. Finally got around Malave. Down the back straightaway. Malave will fall into the fourth position. One car out of shape. It's Wayne right down here in turn number three. Billy Bolton goes around along with some other machines. The uh, 23 becomes involved for Ross. Kerry Malone, the five for Bo Gunning. A bunch of other cars, big pile up down here in turn three. Jim Williams, last week's feature of Ed Winter, is right in the middle of all of that. Will he intimidate the youngster just graduating from high school? Stay tuned. More to follow. Going green. Green flag back up in the air, and it's TC with car number 13. That will have the advantage down to turn number one. Sylvester tucks it right in there for second. Eric Byrne is third, and Chuck Dockerty's fourth. Dockerty up to that fourth position. Good restart. Kerry Malone now up to fifth. Single file for now off of turn number four for the race lead. Back to the line they come. Single file formation. Malave got bounced out of this one. Back up front. Chris. Christopher brings him across the white as they head down into turn number two. Christopher, Sylvester, and Burt down in turn three. Danny Christopher looking for yet another win here at NASCAR 2000, entering turn number three by a car length off of turn number four. He'll see the checkered flag this time by. Off turn number four, down to the stripe. Teddy Christopher will pick up the win. Zach Sylvester second, Eric Burn is third, and Chuck Dockerty in the fourth spot with car number 78. He's already out of the car, but I'm sure he's going to give us a, a good talking to over here. Teddy, come on over here with that checkered flag. 
Now, you didn't have this one easy. I mean, you've had a tough couple of weeks, but you sure charged away the front this week. Yeah, that car, this car has definitely been the fastest car every week we've been going, but uh, last week was a little bit of a problem with the motor, you know. The guys really worked hard this week, got it figured out, and, uh, you know, got all that stuff behind them, you know, behind us. We knew that if we could ever get it running where we finished, we usually could be where we are right here. This, this car is really awesome, and uh, next week it should be in better, be better. Mike Pettit built us a brand new motor for next week with supposed to be real awesome and uh you know mike Quartet with the chassis is great and everybody on my crew that does a real lot of work and puts up with me best and, and thanks jim galante for letting me drive the car now you're the veteran you're the one that's been to victory lane so many times here at stafford motor speedway but a couple of the guys you were racing with were rookies what was it like to race against zach sylvester and eric burton those last few laps when you needed them to race you clean yeah you know eric's really great to race with i, I, I like racing with him a lot you know and zach's been really coming on good as a rookie uh you know they both go real good they got good cars and everything it's just you know we just i definitely have a drive here that uh probably unmatched to anybody else now talk about that drive what about the drive for the championship you've had a couple of rough weeks but obviously you're still in top performance are you still looking at those that championship Eh, you know we do a little bit and if we can keep winning like this then uh you know maybe jerry has some problems and you know maybe we can have it but uh I, I come to win races. That's what I've always done wherever I went, and um, that's my prerogative when I go, and that's what I always try to do. Wherever it falls, you know, be it the championship at the end, then I'll take that. But uh, right now, I like winning races, and I'll try to win a bush race tonight again. Now, you guys are all pretty handsome that come to Victory Lane, but who's this one? Uh, this is my brother's son, uh, my godson. And what's his name? His name is Michael. Well, Michael, welcome to Victory Lane. Let's talk just one one moment about that Bush North race. What would it mean to you to win in the SK Modifieds and then back up your Bush North win here a couple weeks ago to do it again? Uh, it'd mean a real lot. You know, this time we got to qualify uh, through time trials with a couple laps, and we're starting fourth. And, you know, I got a good hand on the track already from running now, and it's basically the same exact car we had, and we have the same exact setup in it. They did some more stuff to the motor. The motor's a little bit more powerful than last time we are here. So, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. But there's 28 other guys that want to beat me in this race. They sure do. Congratulations, Teddy Christopher. Teddy Christopher finds himself in victory lane. What he'd really like to do is do it twice. If he does it in the Bush North Series tonight, that'll be the first time in the history that somebody backs it up in the same year. Now to Bruce Fontaine as he talks to our second place finisher. Thank you very much, Kim Hart. With the young man, Zach, you did a great job. You almost repeated what you did uh, here in Silver Weekend. But I want to, first of all, congratulate you on your second place finish. But the question of the night is, what is the deal with these new colors? Uh, we uh, got some new blood coming in as I'm eating cars. Uh, we're just trying different things, trying to go a little faster, that's all. Uh, we, don't, we don't take colors as a superstition at all. Uh, I, I think it looks pretty good uh, compared to the black and white that we usually run, but uh, it, it, maybe it brings us uh, a little look tonight because uh, this thing was just on a rail tonight. Put the, put the, uh, the people sitting in the grandstand in your perspective on the last the restart when you sit there and you look over to your driver's door and you see teddy christopher do you think you really had anything for him is it like all or nothing here is that what you want yeah pretty much i uh uh it stinks that the yellow came out because we were coming on strong but uh you know i i really haven't had a chance to restart on the outside of teddy and uh, he's been doing this for a real long time and he just uh he races real clean and uh hey what happened happened we tried to repeat but i uh, just couldn't do it i'll tell you what You'll see this young man in victory lane several times, and whether it be a few more times this year or, or through the years to come, you'll see the number 15 is Zach Sylvester. Now to Kim Hart with uh, the number 54 of Eric Burns. The number 54, talking about young guys, guys, young guns here at Stafford Motor Speedway, Eric Burns. Now, you've been having a tough couple of weeks. How does it feel to be up on this podium finish tonight? Uh, really, we needed this. The whole crew needed this. Uh, I needed it. It's uh, definitely something we look forward to, you know, bring the car home with four wheels on it. That way there we can take it easy during the week and uh, put the, some time into maintenance. Uh, the car was strong tonight, not as strong as uh, Zach and Ted. They definitely had a faster car. But you got to tell me about what's it like to race with Teddy Christopher and a guy like Zach Sylvester in those last few laps when it all was for everything? Well, it was good. It was clean racing. Nobody was, you know, banging or nothing. Uh, it, was, it was great. Well, now this is a turnaround. Last week you had a good run. This is a very good run tonight. Are you just one... Okay just two steps away from victory actually i hope so uh we've been close but i definitely need that victory i don't think it's going to be long before we see this number 54 of eric burnt in victory lane one of the guys you're going to want to keep your eye on here at stafford motor speedway now to bruce fontaine for a